Uh, hello and welcome to another episode where we just break Minecraft or I don't know, fix it. I'm not sure. Whichever you prefer, I guess. Uh, so this is wireless redstone. Behind me is a gigantic pillar of sand. Uh, this is red. Red helped me with this design. Um, I don't know, uh, when I was doing dragon dropping I thought uh, dragon eggs were causing issues because there are so many dragon eggs. I thought uh, maybe tile tick limit is being reached, but it wasn't. So um, now we just looked into it a little bit more and realized that you need a, a whole lot more um, tile tick uh, updates to actually hit the barrier. Because in Minecraft, the barrier is something like 65,000 uh, tile tick. Uh, after tile ticks have been reached, the game uh, sort of pushes any component that is based on tile ticks, basically repeaters, uh, ob observers, comparators, sand falling, and a couple other things that are actually based on tile ticks. Um, and because we hit the, the limit of how many tile ticks you can schedule, uh, this game just completely borks out and uh, like pushes every tile tick to the next game tick and desyncs these observers. Um, this, is, this is an idea that uh, Red Hat about the observers like th in this fashion. And the, previously we had this bulky setup where uh, we were check comparing these two uh, what is called clocks. Pistons aren't affected by tile ticks, so we were uh, using this uh, as a reference base. This this clock over here is never going to desync, but this clock over here, this one desyncs. But because uh, observers tick every other tick, we had to have two of them, and realized that uh, why not just use a much simpler design with two observers. So they, these two observers, they're off by one game tick, and then when we um, force the tile tick barrier to be hit, uh, they either will lose one game tick or they will gain one game tick. So they will become offset by two game ticks instead of being offset by one game tick, or they will be completely in sync with each other. Um, so that's how the, the, that this thing will actually work. Or, yeah, that's how the, the detection is happening here. And you can place this device, this, this thing over here, anywhere inside of your uh, world, so in the same dimension. Yeah, w one of the, the, pretty much one of these two, one of these uh, observers, observer clocks, uh, will hit uh, the tile tick uh, when it, whenever the scheduling happens, and one of them will gain like one game tick, as, as Red said, and, and then uh, basically they will desync, and because of that, they, their timings change, and that's how we detect it. The red, uh, you want to Turn it on and see how it works. If it works, okay, I'm gonna zoom in. He's gonna just hit the button. And there we go. And the detection happens here. And you can see in the in the text chat where the um, detection is happening, it's scheduling 66,000 uh, uh, block um, taltics. And that's why the machine detects it because it exceeds it. And then these observers kind of get pushed over to the next game tick. And the way that you can actually schedule uh, is tile ticks mm -hmm. is to update sand. Because sand, when it gets an update, it falls. It needs to check if it can fall. And that's how the tile tick kind of is uh, exceeded. Because there is tons and tons of sand. And in between, there is redstone. And all of these rails kind of update the sand on top of the, uh, that they're sitting on top of each other. And we detect, uh, we, we schedule all of the sand all at the same time by, uh, by retracting these and pistons. Red, can you just push the button now? Can you just watch? Yeah, all these pistons, all of them exp extend all at the same time. And then uh, it's sort of schedules more than the game can handle. And then those clocks kind of desync. Yeah, that was that. Uh, I'm not sure if anyone got anything useful out of this, but this is how you can actually make wireless redstone. So, yeah, that's great. Fantastic. So. Now you can go and build another one of these sand towers. And oh, by the way, uh, if you turn this thing on, it will wreck your computer. Um, like computers, like the, the whatever, whatever is based on tile ticks. So, so your quarries will break. Uh, sand uh, systems that are you have in your world, maybe you have like a sand duper that will break. Uh, any redstone component based on repeaters, the, the maybe torches even break. Everything breaks. So. Maybe just don't build them unless you're like sure that your wireless redstone is working properly. And just to make sure, uh, just to be clear, 
this part of the machine, you can build it anywhere. Okay, and just before I just cut out the video here, um, this is it. It's a very simple device, a design by Red. Um, if it works in another, yeah, it works in all dimensions, I think. Yeah, and it's dimension specific. You can't build an overworld detector in the nether. Yeah, in all dimensions. It should work in all dimensions. It should work in, um, I mean, it sh it's vanilla based. You can, if, if you install carpet, you can actually change the tile tick limit. But if you, if you don't change the tile tick limit, if your server is running a regular vanilla code, blah, blah, spigot might not work. All those other mods might not work. I don't know. But this, on vanilla, it should work. Anyways. Uh, have a nice day. Bye.